welcome back to Catmas Day 12. This is Catmas Day 12. I hope you guys are enjoying Catmas so far. We're almost halfway through. Wow, that is crazy. That is crazy. I got a ton of requests to do a fitness routine video, so I thought that's what I'd bring you today. I wanted to talk about what I do in the gym, when I do it, and all of that type of good stuff. Question of the day, what is your favorite body part to work out and your least favorite body part to work out? My favorite body part body part to work out would probably be legs and glutes. I know, so basic, right? I just really enjoy it. I do. I love all the variations that you could do and I love the pump and I love the results. It's all great. And then my least favorite body part is probably abs. I don't know what it is. I just find them boring. I really need to step up my ab game because I have not been on the ab gains train. I need to get on it. Whew. Okay, on to the point of this video. This is the fitness routine that I have been loving lately that works for me. I've been going five days a week. I was going six, but with school and work and YouTube and everything, it's been kind of difficult. Monday, I hit the legs and the glutes, both of them. I just kill them both, I demolish them. Now, something that a lot of people will do, I know, is like they do legs twice a week. So Monday, they'll focus on the glutes and the quads and Thursday, they'll focus on the glutes and the hamstrings. I don't really do that. Actually, I've probably been focusing on my hamstrings and my glutes a little too much and neglecting my quads just a tiny bit. I kind of just do whatever workouts I'm feeling on that day, but I always do legs at least two days a week. Okay, so this is where it gets a teeny bit confusing. Not really, but whatever. So Tuesday and Fridays are dedicated to back and biceps. However, since now my schedule is kind of morphed into five days a week instead of four, I mean, five days a week instead of six. What I do is on Tuesday, if I'm feeling back and buys, I go to the gym and I do back and buys, and then Fridays I will have a rest day. And if Tuesday I'm like, I am not feeling going to the gym today, I worked all day, I just wanna go home, get some editing done, do some homework, whatever, watch some Netflix, whatever I wanna do that day, and then Friday I will kill my back and my bicep. Now, of course, there are those grand old weeks where Tuesday I destroy my back and my biceps and then Friday comes along and I'm like, you know what? I wanna go to the gym again and I end up going six, day, six days a week. I can't talk, but you know, typically I will have one of those days off. Wednesday comes along and I work out my shoulders. I actually injured my right shoulder a little while. I don't even know how, like I, it just all of a sudden started hurting really bad. So I've kind of had to tone down my shoulder workouts a little bit, which <laughs> makes me so sad because I love doing shoulders, but I did hurt it somehow. And I've been really focusing on stretching it and I might go to the doctor if it continues to hurt, but I still do shoulders every Wednesday. That's like my shoulder day. Back to Thursday, like we talked about is legs, back to Friday, like we talked about is back and biceps or a rest day, depending on how I'm feeling. And then Saturday comes along and I'm working out the girls, these girls right here. Well, not these, but like the muscles behind the girls. And then I also work out my triceps and that is my Saturday, my chest and my triceps. If you're curious, the reason I combine back and buys and chest and tries is because back and biceps are both pulling movements and chest and triceps are both both pushing movements, so they work well together. And then obviously Sunday is just my rest day. Should this be the thumbnail? No. Oh my gosh, guys, it's 8.55, I have to go to class soon. As for cardio and abs, I kind of just sprinkle them in um, on some days. Typically, I'd say two to three days a week, I am adding like a 20 minute hit workout and some ab workouts to my workout, at the end of my workout. I never do cardio before my workout because I don't want to exhaust my muscles and my body. So I'll do like two to five minutes on the elliptical or the Stairmaster to warm up. And then I will do my workout and then I will go back and do a 20 minute hit workout if that's what I'm trying to do that day. And the same with abs, I always do those at the end of my workout with a fitness schedule that you have to be to keep in mind is that you need to be flexible with it because things do come up. Say you meet a fitness friend and you guys wanna to go to the gym together, but they're doing back when you were supposed to be doing chest. Just figure it out. If you have to change to back that day, not a big deal. If they change to chest, not a big deal. Also, another point I wanted to make is that it's okay to change up your schedule. You get bored with your schedule, switch it up. I tried doing arms and shoulders all on one day for a little while and I liked it. Then I wanted to go back to my original routine. But for that period of time, I enjoy doing shoulders and arms all on the same day and that's totally fine. Say you're supposed to do legs, but you're like, eh, I'm kind of feeling a full body hit workout today. Do a full body hit workout. As long as you're being consistent with it and going, it's okay to be flexible, but having a specific schedule that the majority of the time you stick to is definitely gonna help you to stay consistent and keep going. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, I already gave you the subscribe and Instagram and Snapchat piece speech. I'm not gonna do it again, but I love you guys so, so much and I will see you tomorrow in another video.